Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you with lead support from Tom's Trading Room. I have a video here for you on how to sync up the Darknet phone app with Tom's tools. What we're going to want to do first is create a Darknet signals list and then create a Darknet signals folder. And I'll explain why as we go through the presentation. Hover your mouse over website, hover over list, and then left click on edit list. This will bring up your edit list page and it may have a list already populated in there. If you're brand new using this, you're going to, over in the selected stock list, click on the drop down arrow and you'll see a bunch of list and numbers, list one, list two, list three, and so on. And what you'll want to do is left click on any one of those and what you'll see is if there was a list already there, it goes to list two and there's nothing in the edit symbol or stock names box. What you'll want to do now is choose a bunch of stocks and ETFs to populate into this new list. And what we're going to do in the pre-computed symbols controls panel over here is left click on the drop down arrow, scroll on down to penny plus weekly. And what these are, are stocks that have penny wide spreads in their options as well as weekly options. So we're going to combine them both as we have this list that does that. And if it's empty over here, just left click on add. Now, if you have a list already there that has a bunch of symbols already in there, and you're not using that list anymore, just click on replace. We don't have to do that, so let's just left click on add. When we click on add, it's going to put those symbols in the edit symbols box, and in the stock names underneath that, it shows you them as well. So let's, before we save it, create a name for this. So in the edit list name, type in dark net signals. This is all one word, capital D for darknet, capital S for signals, but it's all one word. Darknet signals it is, click save, and it will show you that it's there at the edit list name now. You can also confirm that by going back to website, going back to list. Well, you don't even have to do that. Just click on the drop down arrow over here, and you'll see that it's in the list names now. All right, so that's done. We have the list of darknet signals. Let's go up to website, let's go up to folders, and then left click on create folders. Now, the reason we're creating a darknet signals folder is because if you have a darknet signal from the app or you've looked it up in the tools and you create a trade, you can create and save a trade into this now darknet signals folder. And then I'll show you some screenshots on the app where when an alert comes up for those specifically, you will get the alert. But we're creating the folder. So left click on the new folder name, type in again, darknet, oops, darknet signals. And once you have this created, go ahead and left click on save. Now you'll see that it's alphabetized here. And what we're going to do after we type in darknet signals again, capital D for darknet, capital S for signals, click on save. And it is now a folder in your folders list. So that takes care of what you need to do in the tools. Now recognize we have videos on how to create a trade. We have videos on how to save a trade. It's in the help file over here called help, free videos. Look up those subject matters and you'll figure out how to get that done. But when you have a darknet trade, an option trade from the darknet signals in this folder, I'll now show you in the alerts where it will show you when that particular stock or ETF that's saved here in the tools will show up as an alert in your app. So let's get over to the app now, shall we? What I'm going to emphasize here real quick, folks, is when you have your Darknet app downloaded, the first thing you'll want to do is click in Sign In Now. When you click on Sign In Now, it's going to ask you for your login credentials, your username and your password. Enter that in. And from here on out, whenever you bring up your Darknet app, you're just going to have to use your Tom's Trading Room username and password there to then log in. So take care of the Sign In Now first, and then you can use your username and password to log in and you'll never have to do the sign in now anymore. Now, here is what your Darknet app is going to look like. And you'll see the Stocks tab, you'll see the Trades tab, and you'll see the All tab. The Stocks tab is for the stocks that you created in your Darknet signals list. If it has a bullish, re-bullish add-on or stop signal, it will populate in here. If and when you create a trade in Tom's Tools, and it's in your Darknet Signals folder, that's where it will show up in your trades. But it will only show up if there's a new uh, re-bullish add-on or stop. 
you've already saved it because it was a bullish signal, then if there's any further uh, darknet app signals that come your way on that particular stock that you have a trade on, it will populate there. It won't show you the information on the option, but it will show you if that stock or ETF you have an option trade on has a fresh darknet signal for you. And then the all tab, that's going to show you all of the stock symbols that are in the darknet list, whether you're, and that's from the tools. It's a darknet list from the tools, whether it's in the darknet signals list or folder or, or, or otherwise. Now, when you click on a ticker symbol from any of those tabs and any of those lists, the darknet app from your phone will bring up a chart on your phone, a candlestick chart, and it will show you the darknet signal. There's your bullish or buy signal. This one is here on Apache. And now to wrap, here's your menu icon at the top left of your darknet phone app. If you left click on that, you'll see tutorials that are in written form, as I have explained and shown you here in video form. When you click on that, you'll see a line item for alerts. So when it goes to the alerts page, you can select any of the alerts that you like. And what we're doing is clicking on only last alert of the day. This way, we don't get an alert morning, noon, and night. Just one alert at the end of the day is good enough for us. But if you want multiple alerts, you can left click on all or any of the other options that you have here. So that takes care of the syncing up of the Darknet phone app with Tom's tools. Hope you enjoyed that, found that useful, and we will see you on future videos.